Good afternoon, all, and thank you for tuning in with us today. Today is another special episode of our Alumni Virtual Engagement Series, a monthly video series where we sit down and talk with Manor College alumni to hear about their experiences as a Manor College student and what life has been like since graduating or transferring. My name is Kelly Pfeiffer and I am the Vice President of Marketing and Communications. Today we are talking to two Manor College alumni, Mary Jordan from the class of 2013 and Christy Nimchuk from the class of 2023. Having graduated 10 years apart from one another, Mary and Christy both have found themselves working at the same child care center, Precious Ones Child Care Center in Rockledge, PA, where Mary is the owner and Christy is the director. So thank you for being with us today, Mary and Christy, and welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Sure. So talk to me a little bit about kind of um, how did you hear about Manor College? How did you, why did you decide to choose it as you, where you wanted to attend? And kind of take us back to that part of your journeys. Okay. Um, do you want to go first or me? All right. Well, I'll go first. Um, so originally, right after high school, I graduated a long time ago in 1987. I was going for accounting. Did not like it at all. Um, wound up working in the child care center with and I could bring both of my children there, save on cost and everything. But I felt like I could do it better. So I opened one in my house first. And then um, I found a spot in Fox Chase, a little smaller, opened that. And then I wound up going here in Rockledge and opening that one. Mm -hmm. um, so Manor came into play because I wanted to be my own director eventually um i was hiring directors but it's better to be the owner and director so um i heard so many good things about manor being older i wanted a smaller place that you know i could fit into with all different age groups which was great because mm -hmm. i went at night time also mm -hmm. and i met shuri and there there you have it like mm -hmm. she's so helpful she knows everything about the early childhood education program. She's great. Mm -hmm. So so that's my little background. <laughs> well, thank you. And how about you, Christy? How did you hear about Manor and what's your journey like? So um, my cousin used to go to Manor. She graduated as a vet veterinary tech. Um, nice. It was different back then. Um, and I got, during high school years, I got into child care. Um, mm -hmm. I voluntary worked at um the army the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. I always knew like I always wanted to work with children, so I joined Mary's team and um I love it. I went back to school. Great teachers, Miss Sheree. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I graduated from Manor for my associates, mm -hmm. and then now in September, I'll be going back for my bachelor's. Mm hmm. Oh, that's great. That's great to hear. And, um, you know, since I, I work in, I have seen the marketing team, I'm always curious how people hear about Manor. Is it through a word of mouth? Is it through a friend? Is it through you saw something online or a billboard? And, and we find that year after year, no matter how many billboards we have, no matter how much kind of traditional advertising we do, word of mouth always always number one. So it's great that people have good experiences at Manor and then they share them with others. And then that continues on kind of that snowball effect. So really encouraging to hear that that's how kind of you, you heard about it, Christy. So, so tell me what about, um, why do you guys, why did you guys know you wanted to work in childcare? I mean, obviously children are great. I'm a parent myself, but I don't necessarily want to be you know working with them in that kind of capacity all the time so just what about um taking care of children in that way really is your passion um i just feel like you can make such a difference there's so many personalities so many different you know children and there are some that do need you know comfort, comfort some need some extra special care, mm -hmm. like um, they might have an IEP. And mm -hmm. I want to make sure every child before they get to the kindergarten is on the right path. And mm -hmm. I just love children. 
they're so innocent and so happy and like I'll we have a second floor the preschool floor and I'll go upstairs and they just hug you and love you and they're so genuine it's mm -hmm. it's the greatest so mm -hmm. um and I just wanted to have a program that helped parents and children be the best they could be so that's why yeah. I, love, I love children Oh, that's that's great, and and you guys are doing such a an important, an important role and job and service for parents for our future. So as a as a fellow parent, I thank you so much for for all that you do, and it's not wow. it's not easy at all. Wow, we, thank you. We thank we you. really appreciate it. Um, so that's great. So when when you guys were students were you involved with anything on on campus um and kind of just tell us what was it like being a college student at manor at the time that you were studying it was great i mean everybody was very respectful uh, my whole thing was the age i didn't go back till mm -hmm. 40 something mm -hmm. and um just with computers and everything i've i learned so much everybody was so like welcoming and helpful and it was more of a team effort in mm -hmm. each of the classrooms. And one of the programs that I was one of the first people to start with Cherie was the Early Childhood Education Club. Mm. And um, oh, cool. we would get together, um, you know, on Saturdays and, you know, promote different things. The breathing room is one of the main things that we promote. So, but yes, um, 2013, that was really when it began we wanted to do more because so many people helped us we wanted to help others hmm. that's great that's great um how about you christy were you involved with anything on campus or what was your experience like um, you know, with Cherie as well um with the breathing room and then um we also had like a book club mm. as well yes um i mean i really love that um i mean everything was everybody was treating everybody the same like well cool. well respected yes that was my main I yeah. felt so comfortable there it's like our like probably like our third home at Manor mm -hmm. yeah. and but you learn so much like mm -hmm. I just learned I went outside of my comfort zone you know what I mean and Sheree actually said that everybody should do that Hmm. makes you a better person and mm -hmm. then I brought all that knowledge into here and there was other people that worked at daycares and they brought in some other knowledge about say fundraising or mm -hmm. this child here's a number for help or so it's a great community yeah that's great and and I think particularly the ECE program the culture that Dr. Crosby Weeks creates is even more inclusive and, and really nurturing for those students. So that's that's great to hear that you had positive experiences there. So, so talk to us a little bit about um, what value did you find that your education gave you and how have you seen like things that you have either learned or experienced at Manor translate into like every day working with children and kind of running um, a child care center. Mm -hmm. um, so I know I keep going back to Dr. Um, Crosby Weeks every minute, but <laughs> just to give back. She's like our main person. Yeah. yeah. Who taught us everything that has mm -hmm. to do with child care. Mm -hmm. He gave us good resources, um, education, Mm -hmm. He showed us like where to go if we had problems. So mm -hmm. we brought that into the center. And I feel like we are such a better center now because we learned everything that we could. Mm -hmm. We use that every day with parents, with children, with the community. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really, it was really good. And um, yeah. we were pushed to do better. Mm -hmm. And we did. Mm -hmm. That's and, great. Yeah. So I feel like we bring a lot to Precious Ones now. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I can't say anything better because it was really good. Mm -hmm. 
I know um, I was just looking at some enrollment reports recently and I was looking at our how many students we have in our ECE program. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the numbers fluctuate from kind of year to year, but they more or less kind of stay the same. You know, what would you say to someone who is thinking about possibly being an early childhood education major or early child development, why they should major in that and kind of why they should choose that as a, a pathway? What would you say for that person as two people who've been doing it for a while? I mean, I know childcare is not for everybody. Um, it's just like you have to have passion, mm -hmm. like passionate, like for these children. Mm -hmm. You know, in your heart, if you have it, mm -hmm. I, yes, and you're going to help so many children out that you know. One of them might be a doctor, a lawyer, a good person whatever may be the case I tell some of them who like they draw something really good I'm like you're gonna be an artist come back to me one day when you're in Van Gogh or you know or just come back and it's such good relationships with the parents and the children and you feel like they have come back even when they're older mm -hmm. to ask questions so that they're like still on kind of the right path and if we don't have answers we'll find out so mm -hmm. but if you're looking it's an awesome awesome career I can't say much much more mm -hmm. passion for children you just mm -hmm. come in one day and see our place and you'll see <laughs> <it. laughs> so so tell me more about precious ones tell me um what makes your child care center different from others um, are you guys like, what are your age ranges that you take? And just tell me, you know, kind of a shameless plug for, uh, your center. All right. Um, so we take infants to, um, kindergarten age five, mm -hmm. four, five, six, mm -hmm. a lot of people stopped taking infants because after mm -hmm. COVID they stopped altogether. They didn't feel like it was a money maker to be honest, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I still feel like you need those babies. And then a lot of times they do come for five years. Mm -hmm. um, we have a dance teacher that comes every other Tuesday for the preschool. We have a program in the summer with summer camp called Soccer Shots. Our mm -hmm. teachers are um, have been in the business for a long time. 90% of them have worked at other centers that have either mm -hmm. closed. Um, they have passion. Um what else <laughs> yeah anything that we can have or anybody come in to teach or you know um join in with the kids we do so yeah that's great thank you um it sounds like a really really sweet place so well, kind of as we wrap up here what advice would you give to current Manor students? Um, why is Manor a great option for them? And kind of what advice would you give them, you know, college students or some of them are working full time. Some of them are kind have of maybe more to, you know, have yeah. to have children of their own, taking care of people. Yeah, college students are busy and they're not just doing just college. They're doing a lot of other things. So kind of what words of wisdom would you share with them? Don't give up. Mm. Keep going. No matter how hard it gets. Um, we both had children while we were going there. Mine were a little older at the time in high school, but still opening a center, joining the clubs. Just do you get one one chance at this and mm -hmm. do your best. Have fun. You mm. know, go there. You yeah, I mean, it does take a lot of time and effort, but you can do it. You can definitely do it. <laughs> and you feel better giving back. Mm -hmm. What was that, Christy? Follow your goals. Your goals. Follow your goals. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's why. So, Christy, you're coming back for a bachelor's uh, this yes. September? Nice. And what, what bachelor's in what? Uh, early child education or what's the focus? Early childhood. Mm, nice. That's great. 
Um, well, thank you so much for, for both of you for sharing your time with me today. I know it's a very busy season for you, but I really yeah. appreciate it. And it's, it's really special to have two alumni working along together and kind of in the same, in the same space and Rockwood is obviously right down the road from, yes. uh, from yep. the campus. So you're not very far, no. but, um, but that's great. And I, I wish you both um, a wonderful kind of end of year here. And hopefully summer you have some time to kind of relax a little bit and refresh for another another great school year. Um, now we...